I'm blessed to be doing two things that I love. I'm in the mountains and I'm cross country skiing. And when you put those two things together, that is a, that's a sweet spot for me. But when I look back in my time of ministry at being a pastor, there have been some times when I've wondered if my labor is in vain, if someone else should be leading the church. There was a time when I was in the chapel alone, crying out to God, asking if it should be someone else to lead our church because our attendance was beginning to decline. We were losing momentum. We had an amazing core of people who loved the Lord, but I was wondering if, if I should be stepping away. Well, God met me in that place, and I read a scripture that helped me remember that our labor for the Lord is never in vain. Listen to the Apostle Paul and what he writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Paul is grounding us in such an important truth. We may not be blessed to see the fruit, but if we keep loving, if we keep serving, if we keep pointing to Jesus Christ, the promise of Scripture is you need to know and I need to know that that labor will never be in vain. God will use it for his kingdom purposes. We may not always be blessed to see the fruit. We may feel like we're in a valley moment, but if we keep pressing forward, keep sharing our hope in Jesus, keep loving and keep serving, we need to understand that never is that wasted because our labor in the Lord is not in vain. God bless you. Let that be an encouragement to you this week, and I'll see you soon.